Welcome back, everybody. And now you're going to need to grab a box of tissues. So for season one, I produced 24 episodes uh, for the broadcast, but I had to uh, essentially wrap things up with the show and all of my projects, really, because I was getting ready to embark and document a pretty incredible journey. Starting in April 28, 2016, walking um, across the entire United States on US 40, starting in Atlantic City, New Jersey, and stopping in San Francisco, California. The road we're walking on was paid for by the sacrifices of not only the soldiers, but their families. The awe-inspiring journey is basically the gift I have of a lifetime. about creating a home and a retreat center that these folks can feel comfortable in, that they don't have to pay any money for, that they can come in, be able to relax, be able to get away, be able to heal. Uh, I've prepared myself physically but not emotionally because you hear these stories you meet these gold star mothers, and uh, I wasn't prepared for that emotion all along the way. This is an incredible country, and nothing what I thought it was. Um, we're an incredibly strong country if we just experience it for ourselves. There's no chance I'm not going to finish this. And I don't care what it takes. I think we're going to start as a little acorn. And, and by the time we're done, man, it's going to be a huge acorn tree that everybody's trying to grab on and, and trying to be a part of. get a call from back home and my wife had went into the labor and she had, she had called me and said my water broke. Thank goodness for technology uh, without Skype and some of those options we would have never been able to uh, witness the miracle of birth. quit my job and, and on a leap of faith and come out and help out with this walk. And I've got a wife and two boys at home. It's an epidemic in our military community. 22 veterans a day are committing suicide. All of the names that is on that RV become part of the house of healing so that when these families enter this house they're broken they're torn but when they get there and they see all these signatures and they saw all the people that took time to come and tell their story they will quickly realize that they're not alone that middle America that people still care and and we found that out one step at a time
would I like the viewer to know? That I really stink. This hat stinks. My clothes stink. Everything stinks. That's the coolest part, and that's, that's what was cool to see as we started in uh, New Jersey and all the way over to, to uh, California. It, it never changed. You know, we love America, and we love our soldiers, and we love our families, um, and the families of those that paid the ultimate sacrifice, and, you know, America's behind them. That'll never stop. Go out and do something that makes a difference. Do something for somebody that can't repay you. What an incredible opportunity. And fun fact, Jason and I actually met two weeks before the walk across America. Somehow I convinced him that he needed an assistant. She said, it is my destiny. Couldn't argue with that. Let's go. All right, guys, we'll be back right after this break. <laughs> 